Hi everyone, it's Alex from Red Titan and we are here today in the Deriv store in France and we're here with the owner and uh, we're going to go through, ask him a few questions and uh, find out a little bit about him. So, how are you doing Florian? Hello. Nice to meet you. And, nice uh, to meet you. Do you just want to go and um, straight into it uh, tell me a little bit about the store, and, you know, how it started and yeah. Um, I created a Deriv store five years ago. Um, first of all, I'm a collector. I, I love to collect everything since I'm a little boy, small kid. And uh, one day uh, I found the Hot Toys figures and I told myself, I need to have this, need to have this a lot. But I found the price really expensive. Then... Which I, was, sorry, which was your first one? My first one, uh, oh, let me, oh, let me think. Oh. There's, I think uh, I ordered um, a package, you know, with uh, different f different uh, hot toys from a lot of a lot of Marvel. I collect a lot of Marvel. Uh, then uh, I decided to to create my own store in order to get uh, buying price more interesting. And uh, in, ad in addition of that, uh, I had some difficulties to find a reliable job in France. I don't know, it's in England. We have two different type of contract. We have a small contract and an undefined contract. And uh, in every company I, uh, I, I, I wear, they told me, you are a uh, real good boy, but we can't offer... Uh, then uh, I wanted to get a stable uh, income. Then I prefer to, to get all my uh, competence, maybe we can say competence, yeah, yeah. acknowledge yeah. for my own position for my own uh, situation and I decided to create uh, my own uh, store in uh, 2015 and the name is Dairy Store. Uh, it was very easy and uh, fast to find it because uh, I wanted uh, a name who can be, we can have uh, English combination, you know, in order to maybe one day uh, sell uh, all over the world and uh, we found derivated products. Yeah, because I, I didn't want it to get geek on the on the name because everybody is geek, geek store, geek uh, mania. Then uh, I found easily Derive store or maybe Derive shop. But I have more. I found Derive store more beautiful, and in five minutes it was created. <laughs> I mean, it took myself and George weeks upon weeks to come up with Red Tie, and it was like. We started off, we put both of our names into like a random uh, uh, generator. So you put all the letters in and then it comes up with all the names. There was nothing really there. Then we started brainstorming. We came up with loads of different things. They all sounded terrible. Then it came from um, my favorite character is uh, Silver Surfer, my favorite hero. And George's favorite villain is um, Thanos. So uh, Silver Surfer is Norrin Rad, and then Thanos is also called uh, the Mad Titan. Yeah. So then it was the Mad Titan part and the, uh, and the Norrin Rad part. So they kind of merged that, and then yeah, Rad Titan was, was from that. So it was much more complicated, <laughs> but yeah. Yes, I can imagine. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you've opened the store today. And yep. uh, you, where, whereabouts was the location of the store, and uh, why, why did you choose this location? Um, this is the third store I opened. The, the first one was in the Strasbourg city, in the center, um, because uh, I'm living uh, 20 minutes far from Strasbourg. Then uh, for our business, we must be in big city because we don't have um, a lot of collectors in small uh, village. Um, uh, I had a small shop, uh, 70 square meter. But for the beginning, we didn't know where we go. Then we reduced the risk with a small shop. Uh, it was in it was in uh, 2019, so f three years after the web the website creation. And um, after that, I opened uh, a second one last year in a commercial center, but not a long term relationship uh, no small uh, for just only one year in order to to test the market in commercial center yeah it was good but not 
enough good as I wanted. Not great timing with COVID. Yeah, because the, because it's really expensive to yeah. go in commercial center, and with COVID, uh, not a lot of people came in the commercial center. Sometimes commercial center was uh, locked down, so too many too many troubles in order to to get benefits. And um, as my website begin to be more and more important with Queen Studio, XM Studio, and other big statues stuff, I needed. Uh, a bigger, a bigger, uh, a bigger place, and I found it not in Strasbourg city. So the city is called Vendenheim. This is a commercial zone, not center, but zone, uh, with many, many shops. And as they f they created more shops, we had some possibilities to get a big place. I have around eight thousand, no, eight hundred square meters. So, yeah, it's a big place. Yeah. I mean, and also you've got. You got the huge shop, but then you also have like the great kind of offices upstairs as well. Yeah. It's a really, really nice layout. Yeah, because my uh, ninety percent of my turnover is uh, with internet, but I still want to get a, a physical store because for me it's important to see the customer, to display. Currently, I have the life size uh, Iron Man uh, from Queen Studio in the shop. You can you can see them in uh, in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in on internet, and when you buy hot toys or other stuff more than two hundred euros, you need you need to see it. It's, I've said this like throughout the channel like thousands upon thousands of times, and we've reiterated that you know to see a photo of something, okay, it gives you a kind of an idea. But to see something in person and have it in front of you is, is a whole different thing. And there's so many pieces as well where. I've seen images of them and I've been like, I really don't like that piece. And then I've gone to a convention and I've seen it in person. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's actually really nice. You know, so it just photographs just can't capture that, you know, it's yeah, so it's, hard. It's complicated. The most important is to see with your own eyes. And as you told me about convention, um, last year and last two years, because of the COVID, a lot of con convention was cancelled. And... I want to get some small convention in my shop. And that's why I want. I needed a big place like this. Yeah. For example, today we have a for the for the inauguration. That's what's it? yeah yeah the open yeah. day. Yeah, the yeah. first open day, we have uh, some XM and Queen samples, and other other uh, studio like Taka and uh, Cartoon Kingdom, which are French. Yeah. This is the the possibility you can you can give when you have a lot of uh, space. And then you brought in um, Samuel, so you brought in Virtual Devil to do the yeah. unboxing as well, and uh, yeah, it's was, it was great to see. Yeah, we we've made the first time uh, from Virtual Devil uh, um, unboxing in live. Yeah, it was really really fun, and it I'm, was for the. I'm size. glad you didn't ask me because uh, there was quite a lot of people. And um, I have a little bit of a reputation for breaking things. Mm. So it's probably best I didn't do it. And Samuel did a fantastic job. I mean, yeah, yeah I didn't understand the word he said, but he did a fantastic job. It was job. good, yeah. yeah. It was about the the life, the life, half size of uh, Iron Man, Mark, Mark 7. Yeah. yeah. And it was really, really nice to do to do it. I hope uh, Samuel loves it. And uh, as you told me, you told me just a few minutes ago, the uh, this is the kind of piece you need to see because on the picture it's beautiful, but when you have just in front of you, this piece is really amazing. I think one will finish in my desk. I think especially with something like that, where you know the price point is very high, and then also the size of it is is going to take up you know a lot of space. So you definitely need to see it to to make up your mind. But also because that is half scale. And it's relatively museum pose. It's a little dynamic with his hands out, but it still doesn't have a big footprint. So you could probably, that probably takes up less room than some XM pieces. <laughs> like Ghost Rider will take up yeah. more room than that. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, also, I mean, do you want to go through, because you do sell a lot of other stuff in your store as well. So you have uh, a lot of figures, a lot of clothing and things as well. So like, uh, do you want to go through the things, the things you sell in your store? What do you mean? Like the stock you have in your store, like uh, the other things you sell, like the figures, yeah. uh, the the clothing. Because when we were walking through earlier, um, it was in French, but you were saying that there's the sections. So you have the Lord of the Rings, you have you know, the different sections. Yeah, so. we've made different sections and we have uh, for all the all the price. And uh, we've made um, the, the, the things I want when you come in my shop is that you can find all you want. You, you can find the Japanese or US American food. Yeah. which is really important for me. 
Uh, and the next step will be to get manga, anime, and um, and the comics in the shop because I love all of that and I want to offer all the possibilities to my customer. I prefer, you know, if you came to me, you can find all you want. It's better to go on comic shop and figure shop and a Japanese food shop. You you can go here and you have all, all you want. Everything under one roof. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great idea. And you've got a lot of space to, to expand that as well. So, yeah. I mean, um, and do you have any... Um, are there any plans or any any events you have planned for the future? Not yet. Uh, I've got a lot of ideas, but as the this um, this shop took me a lot of time and energy, and uh, money. yeah, around less less than one year, but a lot a lot many months. But the next step will be to um, to get maybe another shop in in center of Strasbourg. Because a lot of uh, my old const- customer told me, yeah, sorry, we, we're living in the center. We don't have uh, cars. We can yeah. go to the... So I wanted to, to get this customer again. And um, as uh, our... Um, uh, we sold more and more big pieces, maybe to, take, to have my own warehouse in order to manage yeah. all, my, all my stuff in one place. And uh, maybe other other ideas like to get uh, a comic, um, not comic uh, comic shop, but um, uh, like a bar, you know, with a Star Wars bar, like Cantina, you know. Cantina, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. This kind of things. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be really cool. And it's, it's great that you have all these like ideas for the future as well. Do you want to um, just repeat kind of the area that you're in now and how people can contact you? Yeah, so the area is called uh, Vendenheim. This is a big city in the north of Strasbourg, maybe uh, 10 minutes in uh, by car. And uh, you can you can come by the highway. You can come by the by the train. For example, some people came from Paris. They took the the train from Paris to Strasbourg and Strasbourg to Vendenheim yeah. very easily. And you can still contact us by uh, by the website. Well, I, I flew here, and it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, you flew. Yeah, <laughs> by plane. Yeah, you can. Yep. Yes. And, uh, and what about social media? How do people contact you on social media? You can contact us on uh, Facebook. You can contact us on Instagram. We we have a Twitter. We have LinkedIn. Now that I have a beautiful desk now and beautiful office, I have more people who can help us on the social media. Then we have a, a team specialized in social media. Then you can contact us easily or by email, wherever you, can, you want. Awesome. All right. I'd like to wrap it up there. Thank you for your time and uh, thank you for the interview. And again, if anyone wants to visit, you can look that up online and I'll have the contact details in the description. Um, Thanks for watching. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe and share. Thanks, people. Take care. Bye bye. Nice. Yeah, bye bye.